Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be playing It Lurks Below. It Lurks Below is a, I don't know, 2D survival crafting game built by uh, David Brevik. David Brevik is uh, the guy behind Diablo and Diablo 2. And this is kind of like his indie game. Um, I think it's going to be released pretty soon, like fully released, maybe in like... But, you know, we'll see about that. Uh, it's been in development for... You know, I have no idea how long it's been in development. I see there's a copyright 2018, and we're in 2019. So it's been at least like a year, year and a half. Uh, let's see, do I have... I think I have a pretty good resolution. Oh, I didn't know I could make it that resolution. Let me do that real quick. All right. So we're going to play uh, one of my characters. I've been playing all week, and I think I am, uh, let's see, I'm about 13 hours in. Um, I'm playing a level 31 necromancer, and I'm playing the standard survival mode. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it. This looks so different now that I have a higher resolution. I don't know why I played it on such a low resolution, but here's the game. Uh, let me actually teleport back real quick so I can show you. Uh, you start the game on the surface. Oh, I have invaders. I have to get those. You start the game on the surface, and over time... Uh, let me open the door for you. There we go. It's a lot of clicking, so you're going to hear, hear a lot of clicking throughout this video. Um, yeah, you start the game on surface and just kind of over time gradually make your way down uh, through the different layers of the of the, the map. Um, it's kind of simil similar to Terraria. It's often described as like a mix of Diablo and Terraria together. Kind of get the darkness and the the fighting style and whatever from Diablo, I guess, and in a world of... Wow, that's a good whatever. Um, it's a loot-based game, and you, you get all of that from Diablo, and then from Terraria you get the crafting, you get the... Um, you get the... You know, you even get the graphic style a little bit from Terraria. Now, I was a huge fan of Terraria, but I could never really get into it. One of the big things that actually worked against, uh, against my enthusiasm for it was um, its open nature. Um, so I like games that let you do whatever you want and don't have guardrails, but I like games that also have, um, you know, a little bit of a structure. So I definitely prefer games that have quests, and this game does. Um, there is a natural progression um, all the way through down into the, you know, down through the, the map, and I kind of wish I could scroll through the map because you, you really can't see just how far below I like I've gone, um, and we'll take the take my uh, sh the 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 a shaft that I built that I dug out all through the center. We're gonna we'll take it all the way down. Let me see if I need to. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff that needs to be sold, so let me just do that. Can I build any of those things? So this is actually the crafting system. Um, you press C and you get into a crafting menu for you know different level pickaxes and a hoe, so you can hoe the. Um, a field so you can farm. You have hunger in this game so you, you get to um, not only make food uh, or like grow food but you can actually um, also cook it. I actually didn't know that there's anything that I can grow in the winter. What grows in the winter? That's a new one for me. Alright, well then. <clears throat> probably wheat or something, but you can also cook. Um, so similar to how Terraria works and some of the other crafting games, you have to be around the item that allows you to do, you know, to craft or whatever. So you have a forge. Um, here you can smelt ore into bars. You can use an anvil to build armor and weapons. <clears throat> you can use a workbench for like, I guess, just generic stuff. And you can use a fire or actually this oven over, over here in, in the general store to, um, make food. So let's see what we can make. We can make some fried eggs. We're gonna, whoops, I paused it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna make some of that. You gradually, like as you play the game, you'll unlock new buildings to build. And I actually have a few buildings that I can build. I have um, this one over here um, that opens up the ability to buy pets. Um, so just, you know, it's, it, they're useless, but they're, they're just kind of like an ambient pet that follows you around. Um, like a familiar, I guess, in a way. But you get these blueprints for buildings, and so you get to build your own village. Unlike Terraria, where I guess I, it kind of happens spontaneously, or other games where you might have a pre-built town, I put these together. Um, 
so I get the blueprint, the, the pre-designed building, and I get to place it down wherever I want to. I have a bank over here um, where I'm actually going to drop off a few things. Whoops, I actually want to keep that. Wow, these are high-level crystals. Let's see. Uh, I don't need as much armor. Increased damage to undead. Where do I want to throw this? I don't really care about luck. So undead or speed and fire magic rate yeah i'm just gonna switch these out i'm gonna sell that yeah there are a lot of items that you can kind of crush and like de de destruct i guess um like food a lot of food like these this wheat bush bushel or whatever it's called you can um break it down into seeds that you can plant and to grow more uh crystals for example you can break down i'm gonna break this one down it's fine and I get crystal shards, which I can craft with. Um, there's some, I don't know what ancient orbs are, but I do have a lot of compost, and I have way more money than I thought I had, so that's actually pretty nice. Um, I don't know what these crystals go to, but you can put crystals in your armor to make it unique, I guess, and to give it abilities. Um, I don't think I've crafted this kind of armor yet that can take those crystals, so I'm gonna save those. Um, just like in Diablo, you have rune runes and rune words. Um, I actually didn't know that you could do that. Let's see, can I use it? I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know how a lot of this stuff works. I've just been kind of playing for fun, and it's been great. Um, let's see, I'm level 33 weapon. I really like this lightning weapon, and I don't really want to get anything else. Uh, you have scroll of identify that you can craft. So it's not like, you know, you don't buy these. Um, a lot of stuff you can craft. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't... Ooh. Ooh, let's see, it's at level 34, 204 to 304, 40 damage. So that's already higher. Lightning has 34, 34 charges. This is lightning, 34, 34. Uh, recharge time is almost exactly the same. Attack power is 70, 17. Magic find rating is 20. Attack power is less, but I get vitality and recharge reduction. I'm just going to keep the one that I have. Um, yeah, so there are, there's a lot of stuff that you actually can't sell. Like, for example, you can't sell food, food, it's, or you can, it's free. Um, a lot of these crystals and weapons um, are sellable. You can't sell your pickaxe, or you can sell your pickaxe, but it's free again. Um, so it's kind of like useless. And then you can always decide between, you know, breaking the items down or selling them. Um, and that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, you do have all th these different parameters up here. The 34 out of 34, that's my mana. So the number of shots I can take with my weapon is actually, you see that? That's like my ammo. I'm gonna press R to recharge. So the mana is actually like ammo for my weapon. I don't know how it works for other classes. I have health over here. The health aspect gets um, changes like all the time. Uh, meaning that, you know, depending on what items I equip or what kind of blessings I use, um, there are these scrolls of blessings that that remove all status effects or give you extra energy and it kind of all stacks up over here. And it's kind of cool because at, at some points this gets really long, you get some ridiculously high health and you're like, I have no idea what I did to make that happen. Um, so yeah, so you get, you get all of this, we, you get the crafting over here, um, it just things become available to you to craft uh, when you have the right items. I've noticed that you can place items in the bank and it becomes available to you for crafting anyways. That is huge because I think that is one of the things that annoys me the most about Stardew Valley, where I love doing crafting, but I hate the fact that I have to run around all of the, you know, the wooden chests uh, in order to be able to uh, craft what I want. Oh no, oh, oh, this is new. Oh, this looks beautiful. All right, well, I've got a brand new helmet. Um, yeah, and it said it's that new crystal socket. So why don't we throw this in there for now? We'll go back. I don't want to go back to the bank. And I'm going to sell that armor. So that armor actually does sell. Um, I think it's a bug, but you have if you take this the, the item out of the socket, it increases the... You can sell both, and they're separate values. So this is 1,200. But... The crystal by itself is like 500 so it's it's just kind of interesting something to keep in mind um so we'll sell that i'm just going to sell this adamantine bar do not want to sell the lodestone bar um, there are all kinds of different uh, metals that you can build stuff with um but yeah let's go ahead and uh 
drop some stuff off, golden fertilizer, sure. And let's go back to where I was fighting. Or actually, let me take you down the shaft. Um, so the, there are no waypoints or anything like that. You have to kind of like dig your way through. The way I've solved it is, first of all, I have this undead heart, which is like an ancient item. These are your skills. This is like your QWER, whatever. Um, they're actually items that you can switch out. So I can take it out and put a different skill in there. I don't really do that like i i'm really happy with the skills i've had i've deleted a few others but one of the skills i have is an undead heart which allows me to do flight and a bunch of other stuff like see heat in the dark which is amazing i can see enemies in the dark but it means that i can fly down um all the way to this insanely long shaft so this is like the first layer look at this i can see with my infrared that there is like a, a smaller boss back there i don't really want to fight him uh we're gonna keep going you can see these little creatures and critters that you, you might um, fight along the way. I don't know why, but I, like one day I just sat down. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make one vertical shaft that I'm gonna go down. There's some crystals and some gold. It looks like, or maybe copper. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did it, but I did. Uh, and one of these will actually stop at a boss. You can see we have a lot of enemies that we can fight this is like the ice level um, then you go down still kind of icy this is slime i think i'm not sure or some kind of new dirt mm. and unlike diablo 2 like you don't have the same respawn type of mechanic because you always save the game and you don't actually like exit um i don't want to i don't want to go fight a boss right now wait is this the new boss i think this is no, I have another boss. So you can see we went pretty far down, and again, the map, like I'm gonna show you here, we're so far down you can't see the surface anymore. Um, there's, there's an item that allows you to reveal a huge part of the map, like a, a circle of a map, so that's right over here. I, I'm absolutely loving this game, by the way. And I believe there's a door, I think all the way to the left here. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, what was I saying? Scroll sustain, let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, so this is like some slime layer. Um, there are four major bosses, and I checked the, the, the release notes yesterday, and there's a new, one new boss, one new like final boss. Ooh, I'm sleepy. Let's drink some coffee. Um, yeah, so here's, you know, you fighting this guy over here. Cool, kind of explode with blood. I don't know, I love the art style of this, by the way. This is so disgusting, these are sores like body sores let's see uh i just picked up that brick where is it did i not pick it up oh i have a i have a special item that uh, my pickaxe doesn't pick up like random dirt anymore because i don't need it flesh sword dirt that is so disgusting but it's so on brand <laughs> i don't want to be picking up sores but i have this cool pickaxe that actually doesn't pick up all this random dirt and only pick up picks up gems and you know this stuff over here Oh, there's money over here. Cool. What is this? What is this? That's Okri or something like that. So let me go ahead and do this. I have three floating skulls as a necromancer, and they do a lot of my work for me, so I don't have to do it. But because I can fly and run around, like it's it's a lot of fun because I uh, I'm al almost always in a very relatively safe position to run around and attack while my skulls kind of get to the to the thick of it. Ooh, this is that. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, I can still get hit. My health is going down. Um, I've noticed that because of the way the controls work, it doesn't make sense for me to spam potions like I would in Diablo. So I actually have to like move aside. Let me let me put it like on a quick. Uh, oh, I think I'm about to die. There we go. Got full health again. Um, I got all of my skulls. That's great. And it, it kind of becomes this like mayhem of, of, of fighting, which is pretty cool. There you go. Wow, that is quite some loot. This is going to be a lot of money from here. This black ore is the, the uh, adamantium or whatever. Um, it's adamantine ore. Um, these skull looking things are actually like these. Um, summoners 
that can summon other creatures. Well, I was just fighting one of them. Uh, oh, dark. It's dark. All right. Now I do remember seeing that last boss somewhere this way on the map. I'm too deep for it. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Uh, at the bottom of the sludge area. So I'm not in the sludge area anymore. I'm in the f sore, the the fleshy sore area. I don't know, but so this is this is kind of the gist of the game. You kind of like travel around. Um, occasionally, you go back to your home base to either buy food or sleep or something. Um, you know, some an some creatures drop food. Some creatures drop some other stuff. Oh god. Oh, and these can bore through. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Come on. Uh. Yeah. Uh, did I just use all of my... Yeah, I did. I can't believe I just used all of my potions. Um, as you can see, I'm not leveled well enough for this area. So I might want to... I'm going to try to see if my skulls can take care of it. Oh, th this is cutting it too close. So you can teleport back. It takes a few seconds, so it's not a quick escape like you would expect in Diablo 2. It looks like spring is starting, so it looks actually really nice. The graphics are nice. Um, anyway, I highly recommend this game. It's very addicting, so I rarely ever put a lot of time into um, a game um, just because of logistics, kids, and stuff like that, but I I put in like the good 12, 13 hours just this week playing this game, <laughs> and I don't regret it. It's just, it really is a lot of gaming that I did. <laughs> Um, so it's definitely addicting. It grabs you like immediately, and I think the one thing that is is huge about this game that I think uh, Terraria was missing, like I said, is the is this quest system. Especially in the beginning, the quest quest system guides you toward um, building out, uh, you know, building out your skill sets, understanding the game mechanics better, understanding. Um, kind of understanding how how to enjoy this game a lot so it will take you through you know making food building some of your first buildings um, and uh, stuff like that I'm getting a little bit distracted playing oh god you know I just kind of want to play this game I don't think I don't even want to make this video anymore I just want to play it uh, oh oh that means that it's somewhere around here no 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely out of my depth here. I need to get out before they all kill me. Uh, let's pick up this money. Yeah. No. Stop shooting. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Um. I have a feeling that the last boss is somewhere up here. I remember I came across the door. You saw that door earlier in the video, and I'm sure that door is somewhere up here, somewhere else. I don't know. I'm too deep, too deep right now. All right, well, it's on Steam, so it's on Steam on PC right now, PC only. Um, it's like 20 bucks. It's definitely worth it. If you like Terraria, it's definitely worth it. If you like Diablo, it's definitely worth it. If you like 2D games in general, 2D, like dungeon crawlers, check this game out. It's worth it.